We need you strong. Okay. All right. Let's head out. Ain't sure what we're gonna find out here, Dutch. We have to try. Stay close. We'll do our best to stick to the trail. This goddamn weather. Been two days or more like this now. Oh, it has to blow over soon. Careful over this bridge here. That's a start. And what about the money? Please tell me you at least got the money before it all went to hell on that boat. We did. It's stashed with the rest of the money in town. It'll be safe for now. But we sure can't go back there to collect it anytime soon. Wait, is that someone coming towards us? Whoa! You up ahead! Who's there? Micah. Gentlemen. Found anything? I think so. Found a little homestead down that way. Okay. Anyone home? Sure. Place is blazing with light and noise. Sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow me. <clears throat> How's Davy doing? <laughs> he didn't make it. Nor did little Jenny. That's too bad. Davy was a real fighter. Both of them calendar boys is. Or <laughs> was. Yeah. And Mac, Sean, we don't know. Quite a business. Get up. I'm glad you're all right, Micah. Always. Ask him if he's seen John. Hey, have you seen John, Micah? Things always turn out right for that boy. I hope Mac and Sean are still out there somewhere, too. Move up, Arthur. I'll cover the rear. Yeah. You sure about this, Micah? Mr. Morgan, I never thought I would be so pleased to see your face. Been kind of lonely out here. Where's this guy else? has been cranky since the from this huddled around a fire waiting for daddy itself. to put food on the table. Said it before, we got too many mouths to feed. Well, we got a few less now, so you should be happy. That ain't fair, Arthur. I earn my share. You think it's unreasonable to expect others to do the same? So, this house, you speak to the people there already? No. Yeah, I got it. Hell, this is played. I've played this before. Yeah, yeah, okay. The horses are tired now. Let's hitch up here. Hmm. Let me do the talk. We don't want to scare these folks. Yeah, yeah, got it. Got a Dutch. Be doctor. Sounds like quite the party. You two, get yourself out of sight. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty looking degenerates. This game still looks the best. Arthur, you take that old shed on the left and stay low, both of them. Copy.
Hello? Nice musical instrument. Excuse me. Hello. Oh, well, hello, friend. What you want? I am very sorry to disturb you. Uh, my friends and I, well, we got into some trouble up the way, lost in the storm. Ah, uh, gentlemen. We can't help you, mister. I got folks, Arthur, dying on the trail. Arthur, we got a problem. Okay. <laughs> folks. There's a corpse right here. Now, I, I just Arthur. need... Some There's a body food in the wagon. Or I hear you. Just Gentlemen. keep your eyes on Dutch. Yo, Dad. You should go now, buddy. Yeah. Look out! There's more to pay. Where's the other guy? Oh, I got his ad. Where am I supposed to run? Yeah, yeah. Smells like a party in here. Turn the place upside down. Grab as many supplies as you can. We need the essentials. Food, medicine, whiskey. Yeah, yeah, that's... Yeah, I'm looking for that. It's a strange one, all right. Maybe they're hiding up here, too. There's a big price on Colm O'Driscoll's head. Nearly as big as the one on yours. Wanting Colm dead is about the only thing me and Uncle Sam agree on. Oh, I'm starving. You should eat something now. Get your strength up for the ride back. Okay. B to open your settle. I forgot every of the con uh, each of the controls. Uh, like... Uh, yeah, that's how you open your food. Biscuits, let me have some more. Place is dry. Place is dry, warm. We could maybe move the women and Jack down here. Maybe. We'll see how they are when we get back. I don't really want us to split up. Yeah, I got the cookies. Let me have that one. What do I have here? Keep searching while I pack these on the horses. Hmm. Poor bastard was married to. Meet okay. me out here when you're done. Yeah, I'm done. Micah, Arthur, keep looking for stuff. Arthur, go see if there's anything in that barn. Micah, you search the cabin, see what we missed. Sure. Nice, let me go and search the barn. Home is. 
Oh, this son of a bitch will talk. Where's Como Driscoll? With the others. At an old mining camp southwest of here. Near the lake. What are you bastards doing? Why are you up here? Uh, we're fixing to rob some train. Gonna blow the tracks. Okay. No, I don't know more than that, I swear. Really? <laughs> well, I would say it looks like you have this, Arthur. Do what you want with him. I don't care. But bring okay. that horse when you're done. That's right, that's right. I've been done. I don't know anything else. <laughs> please. <laughs> please. Spare me. No. I promise. Are you dead? You'll never see me again. Let me hit you once more. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Big kill guy. That's my god. I really like the horses in this game. Is that bastard still in there? He's dealt with. Good. That looks like a decent horse. You should keep him. You need to hitch him. He's already skittish. It's such, gonna be okay. Such a gun. We mean you no harm. Miss, miss. Come on. It'll be okay. We need to get out of here and quick. Come on now. Oh. Oh. You okay, miss? They came three days ago. And my husband, they. Okay. Miss, you are. Safe now. And you can't stay here. You come with us. Arthur. Yes. It's okay. We're bad men. We ain't them. It's okay. Get on. We'll keep you safe until you figure out what you want to do. What's your name, miss? Miss. Adler. Adler. Sadie Adler. Mrs. I... He... He was my husband. Homestead, but he weren't the first. Comb O'Driscoll and his scum, they beat us to it. Uh, uh, we found some of them there, but there is more about, apparently. Scouting the train. Thank you. That's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is. But we found some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food, and this poor soul, Mrs. Adler. 
Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up? Give her a drink or something? And Mrs. Adler, it's gonna be okay. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. Animals. I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. You're over here. Miss O'Shea will show you the way. Mr. Morgan, we put you in a room over here. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? Well, how come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? Get yourself to bed. He ain't been seen in days. Weather ain't let up. He's strong. And he's smart. Strong, at least. <gasps> Hello, Arthur. Abigail. Arthur, how you doing? Just fine, Abigail. And you? I need you to... I I'm sorry. I'm sorry to ask, but... It's little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two... Two days. Your John will be fine. I mean, he may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. Please go take a look. Javier? Yes. Javier, will you ride out with Arthur <clears throat> to take a look for John? <clears throat> You're the two best fit men we've got. Now? She's... We're all... Yeah, we're pretty worried about him. I know the situation were reversed, and he looked for me. Thank you. This way, last I know, John was headed up the river. For all we know, he kept riding north and never looked back. He wouldn't leave. Not like that. Uh, wouldn't be the first time. Take a look. Let's hope it ain't more of O'Driscoll's boys. Well, it seems somebody left recently. And that way. Sure, well, come on then. There's some tracks leading to the river. 